Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be reviewing the top 8 best Vitamix blender. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to rank them based on their quality, durability, customer reviews, and more. If you want to know about the best pricing and more information, you can check the description links below. Number 8 in my list is Vitamix Professional Series 750 Blender. This blender comes with analog controls and offers 5 presets. It's a suitable choice for those seeking a large capacity blender with extra features, even if it doesn't have smart technology. The term professional in the blender's name is important to note. It might not be ideal for small-scale home cooks. The wide jar struggled when handling small blending tasks. However, if your primary use is making smoothies, cooking in larger batches, or tackling substantial projects, it can be a worthwhile investment. The broad and squat design of the blender jar had an effect on the blending process. It resulted in less effective blending of ingredients like peanut butter, causing more of it to be thrown upwards, where it stuck to the lid and the grooves of the jar. Number 7 in my list is Vitamix at 2500 blend of this model offers wireless connectivity, featuring an LED screen with an integrated timer and a control knob offering 10 settings. It also includes three program settings, smoothies, hot soup, and frozen desserts. This distinction appears to be the primary difference between the A2500 and A2300, justifying the $50 price variation. The A2500's performance closely mirrored that of the A2300. It excelled at making smoothies, with only a slight, almost unnoticeable difference in smoothness compared to the A2300. However, like the A2300, the broader jar posed challenges when attempting a tough small batch task, such as making peanut butter. For blenders with wider jars like these, we recommend increasing the batch size or considering a model with a tapered jar for more effective performance. Number 6 in my list is Vitamix A2300 Blender. The A2300, part of Vitamix's Ascent line, comes at a more reasonable price point. Like other Ascent models, it's particularly well-suited for handling liquids and larger food batches, thanks to its broad blender canister. It's equipped with an LED screen featuring a built-in timer, a pulse button, and a 10-speed control knob, providing a useful combination of digital and manual controls. This blender stands out as an excellent choice for handling liquids such as smoothies, soups, and sauces. We observed that it consistently produced ultra-smooth and well-aerated drinks. However, similar to other wide canister blenders, it requires a larger volume of ingredients to ensure proper blending. Number 5 in my list is Vitamix A3300 Blender. The A3300 Blender closely resembles the A3500 model, featuring an LED touchscreen display and a built-in timer. However, it lacks the presets found in the A3500, which results in a more affordable price point, approximately $100 less. While it operates slightly louder at 72 decibels compared to the A3500, it remains relatively quiet for a blender. In terms of performance, the A3300 excelled at making smoothies, leaving just 9 grams of unblended material after a 1-minute blend. In comparison, the A3500 left 11 grams, while the 5200 left 7 grams. However, like other wide canister blenders, the A3300 faced challenges when attempting to make smooth peanut butter, especially in small batches. This task tends to benefit from a blender with a narrower tapered jar design. Number 4 in my list is Vitamix A3500 Blender. This blender is equipped with several user-friendly features, including an LED touchscreen display, a control knob, and a built-in timer that testers found convenient, eliminating the need to set a separate timer for blending durations. Additionally, it offers five pre-programmed settings, including options for making smoothies and hot soups. With its six available finishes, it's not just functional but also an attractive addition to your countertop. During our smoothie test, this blender performed exceptionally well, producing smooth, frothy smoothies with a super fine texture. However, it faced more challenges when tasked with making peanut butter. 
If nut butter is something you intend to prepare with this blender, we recommend using the tamper to assist, although it may have some limitations in achieving the desired consistency. Number 3 in my list is Vitamix E310 Blender. The E310 Explorian is a compact and neat blender from Vitamix. It features a manual interface reminiscent of the 5200 model and includes a control dial that lets you easily switch between 10 different speeds. Vitamix positions this model as an entry point to professional level blending, offering moderate pricing and performance. This blender is most suitable for individuals seeking a compact option for making smoothies, sauces, and less demanding blending tasks. While it's a bit pricier than the one, it's a better choice if you're in the market for a smaller starter blender. In terms of performance, it's one of the less powerful Vitamix models. This was evident in its smoothie test, where it left behind 14 grams of unblended material in the strainer after just one minute, which was the highest among the tested models and twice that of the 5200. Additionally, during the peanut butter test, its motor emitted an overworked smell. Number two in my list is Vitamix One Blender. While the Vitamix One comes with a price tag of $250, which isn't exactly budget-friendly, it stands as the most affordable option among Vitamix models. However, it does come with certain limitations, and we hesitate to recommend it unless your blender needs are limited to occasional smoothie making. Even in that case, some might find it too expensive for what it offers. Testers pointed out that this model's motor produced a borderline intolerable noise. Indeed, it registered as the loudest blender in our tests, reaching 93 decibels. Notably, the manufacturer's care instructions warn against making nut butter blending hot soups or grinding grains with the one, as doing so will void its two-year warranty. Compared to other Vitamix models, the plastic blender base of the one felt less robust, and it also featured a smaller stated capacity of 32 ounces. Its control panel consists of a single dial and lacks a dedicated on-slash-off switch, meaning the blender will start if the dial is turned even slightly to the right when the unit is plugged in. Number one in my list is Vitamix 5200 Blender. The 5200 Blender has consistently held its place as our top choice for years, and it's not without good reason. Its slender, tall jar design creates a powerful vortex that draws ingredients downward and keeps them close to the blades. This results in wonderfully smooth smoothies, soups, purees, and nut butter. The 5200 is incredibly versatile, capable of blending nearly anything you throw at it. Its control panel is straightforward, offering 10 speed options without any preset programs. However, this lack of presets hasn't been an issue for us. With a bit of experience, you'll quickly determine which speeds work best for different tasks. Additionally, many Vitamix models, including the 5200, feature an auto shutoff function to prevent motor overheating offering peace of mind during use. It also includes a slow start feature, which makes blending soups easier by minimizing turbulence and the risk of hot soup causing the blender's lid to pop off. Alright guys, this we are today's video. If you find this video helpful for you, then like the video, and if you come to our channel first time, then hit the subscribe button for amazing incoming videos. Be sure to check out the link in the description for updated price of all the products discussed in this video. Hope you have a great day and see you soon in the next video.